Welcome to the Bois Jacques. You don't have to look far to find the uh, Easy Company foxholes. Because this wood is filled with them. These are all the original foxholes that uh, Easy Company Bender Brothers occupied when they were in this sector. During the siege, the other side of the road was where the Germans were, and this was the American side. So this really was the front line. And over there, the edge of the trees, was also where the Germans were. This was the corner position. Snowing. They can move back in without much trouble. I don't know all the stories of all the foxholes. Uh, but I do know the story of this foxhole. This was where uh, Smokey Gordon had his machine gun. And it's here that he was uh, hit by a sniper. Which um, went through in his, into his left shoulder. All the way through his body. And out on the right side. And you can also see this bit in uh, a band of brothers. Where Ben Kaplan plays uh, Smokey Gordon. And it's here that uh, Doc Rowe comes and uh, takes him to... Uh, uh, picks him up, uh, put him on a jeep and takes him to Bestone. And we know this is the foxhole because he had a T-shaped foxhole and there's only one T-shaped because it was a machine gunner so there needs to be two people side by side one with the ammo and one with the machine gun. The exact same place. And the line of foxhole stretches all the way to the corner of the woods and then continues to the left. This is the uh, corner in which the lines bent to the left. So here's another foxhole just behind the tree line. And the Germans would be both on the right hand side as on the left. And then there you can just see through the fog that's the village of Foy, or Foy, as the Americans uh, said. And uh, that's another bit of the uh, episode, which is very famous, the attack on Foy. And they did not start from this wood, this bit of wood. They started further 
that way. And we're in luck because it has been snowing. So it has a real winter feel. Every now and then someone comes with a shovel and uh, deepens them again. Just for reference, we just walked through the bit of forest on the right and Foy, foy is uh, all the way at the end. here between these trees that uh, Garnier lost his leg it's a very amazing place to be here especially today in the snow in the fog So this is an area where reenactors have redug a dugout or build a new one and uh, when you're done with it you just leave. But who cares? This is where progress kicks in. Progress being um, this is a forest and these trees are grown with a purpose. They are going to be cut down and are going to be used for wood because this is the area where uh, Major Winters had his foxhole to give you uh, an idea of how close this one is to the uh, front lines where the cars are parked that's, the, uh, that's where the Germans were and uh, Winters had his foxholes here a little bit further down this field and it's been completely obliterated when they uh, cut down the trees they removed all uh, traces of the foxholes and the uh, approximate position was here and now the snow of course covers every trace of possible indentations that are may be left over so the Bois Jacques I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for your time and uh, if you like my videos then please subscribe and see you in another one